Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're so glad to have you here. Today's video is gonna be over the course of a few days. And let me just tell you, it is a wild ride. We are in the process of trading our camper in. And of course, you know, there's never a dull moment with us. So stick around until the end so that you can see what we run into and how we get this problem fixed. So first we're gonna kick it off with a trip to Lowe's to pick up a few of the items that we need for the project that you're gonna see in just a few minutes. travel trailer that um, we've had for a couple years and so we have decided that we want to trade it in and so we found a fifth wheel that we liked um, and so everything has gone through and we are getting ready to trade it in on Friday. Today is Wednesday and this afternoon I was cleaning the camper out and I just was pulled. We have like a um, which I'll show you in the vlog, but we have a slide in the back of the camper um, that's like a bunk house. And so when I was pulling the futon out to clean out um, the stuff up under it, because Jake had some games and things like that, because that's the kids room. When I was pulling the futon out to clean out from under it, I noticed that there was a hole in the floor and I could actually see to the outside um, from the floor. So I called Justin and I was kind of in panic mode and um, he was like, well, I'll look at it when I get home. And so um, anyways, he comes home and there is, there's a hole in the floor. And so he starts pulling everything out, pulls the carpet up and all of the wood under that um, back slide was totally rotten. So he ended up having to um, take the whole floor out, which was, totally like caught us off guard because we were not expecting to have to do that but we also can't take this camper and trade it in for the new one with a hole in the floor because that's definitely going to throw red flags so anyways we found the problem thank goodness we at least found it today and so he's getting it fixed so we went to Lowe's got all the stuff we had to get like new carpet I mean it like it to it has to be completely redone like our camper our back slot of our camper literally has no floor right now so that is what we're headed home for him to do um, I'm gonna keep cleaning the camper out and just get everything cleaned up so that it's nice and clean when we trade and all of our stuff is out but we definitely have our work cut out for us tonight right very much so I don't it's think it's already 8 p.m. I worked 10 hours today with probably three hours of driving so that's 13 hours that I've been up and going and it's 8 p.m. it'll be 8 40 by the time we get home so I'm starting at 9 o'clock tonight so I definitely don't think that this was anticipated but um, you have to know us and <laughs> literally everything seems to like turn into something like this there's never never a dull moment so that is what we are headed home to take care of tonight okay so i'm just gonna share with y'all <laughs> what it looks like oh my lord can y'all believe that oh we had no idea that there was a hole that big we knew that it, the camper so we knew that the camper like at one point had some kind of leak or something but um and like a little bit of water damage but we thought that it was um fixed and totally fine but i don't know that just like totally threw us for a loop but yeah this is i'm in the process of getting it all cleaned out but this is the futon and it sets in the floor of um the slide and then my dad and Justin actually built all this for the kids because this is their bunk but yeah we're working on getting everything cleaned out and then like I said I moved the futon today and I found that and I was like oh my gosh I kind of just like went into panic mode but anyways um he is working on it now so we'll see 
So Justin's got this piece of plastic cut out. This is like a weather resistant type of plastic that's gonna wrap around the wood that's gonna go onto the floor. And here he's just sealing everything up. We've already got the piece of wood cut. Lowe's actually cut it to the length that we needed. And so um, he's just getting everything prepped and ready to put the wood in and slide it into place. Miles from my home. got a block because we ended up, well, he's hitting the wood with the hammer and doesn't want to mess the wood up. So he's going to take a block and hit the block instead. between the house and the camper where Justin was working but y'all it it was a nightmare so we got the floor in and we were like so excited because the floor was in and then we were getting ready to like put the carpet down on it and so Justin's like let the slot in and um you know we want to make sure everything is working right before we you know screw everything back in and so I go to um, hit the button to let our slot in and it didn't go. So um, Justin's pretty mechanical, very mechanical actually. And so um, he started like fooling around with it and um, testing like different electrical things on it and come to find out the um, motor on the, when you're standing and you're looking at the slide, like you're standing in the bedroom and you're looking at the slide, the motor on the left side is shot. Um, the motor just stopped working and there was a wire that was um, not attached anymore. And so he said, there's no telling like how long it's been like that. And then it just snapped. So Needless to say, it needs a new motor, so our slide cannot come in until the motor is put in, and finding a motor is going to be the challenge. Um, so he is gonna call around this morning and see if he can find one. Um, so, I don't know. We were supposed to be trading our camper tomorrow, but at this point, I just, I don't know I don't I don't see I don't see how we're gonna get all of this done and it working properly before tomorrow to trade so I don't know I think we're gonna have to end up talking to the dealership and probably pushing it back and they're probably not gonna want to do that so super exhausted it's it was a nightmare last night but Anyways, now I am on my way to pick up some stuff for materials for Justin for his job. And um, I got Jake dropped off at school and then I am headed back home to just try to finish getting some things out of the camper. I mean, we know we're going to trade it eventually. Um, I just don't think it's going to be tomorrow. But we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Dietri and I are leaving Hobby Lobby. We spent the last, I don't know, 45 minutes or so searching around Hobby Lobby. I was trying to kill some time because Justin, when he left for work this morning, he's only going to work like half a day because we got to figure this camper thing out. But um, he actually called me. I was trying to kill time because he was looking for a motor for the slide um, on the camper and um we weren't sure if the first place that he looked was going to have it or not so i was just trying to kill some time while i was in town because instead of going all the way home like if he was calling around and he needed me to run somewhere and pick it up i was already here so i was like well i'll just kill a little bit of time and run in hobby lobby i never complained about that so gentry and i went in hobby lobby and um got a few things i needed 
um, some more vinyl for um, some shirts that I'm making. It's so sunny out here today. Um, I needed some more vinyl for some shirts that I'm making and then um, we kind of got sidetracked and Gentry found like the fairy garden stuff. So she was playing with it in the store and I was like, you know what, like I've been working on my patio and why not buy some stuff to make a fairy garden? So that's what we did. We bought like a little house and then I think we bought like two fairies and like a couple other little things, uh, a dog and a cat, like a couple other little things to go with it. So that is what we are gonna do. We kind of got a little sidetracked, but um, yeah, so we are gonna make a little fairy garden. So I figured this video of like the whole camper situation, I would just kind of turn into like a day's vlog anyways. And then um, I can keep you guys updated on what's going on with camper too. So we made it to Friday. It is trade-in day. Um, so I'll show y'all, we, we ended up, it's a long story. We ended up running into problem after problem, but we, we made it. So I was just gonna share with y'all what we ended up um, doing. I got everything cleaned out, um, I vacuumed out, wiped everything down, Lysoled everything, which I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna clean again. But I was just gonna share with y'all our slide. So we already have the slide pulled in. I'll show you the outside, which is a whole nother story. <laughs> um, but okay, well, I'll just go ahead and tell you. So we got the new motor. Justin went to the place, he picked the motor up. We were like super easy, like it could have gone any easier than that. He got home, he got the motor put in. Um, so the motor is working now, but the brackets that um, is actually on the slide are completely worn out, they're shot. So in order for that to be replaced, the whole slide is gonna have to come out. So I called our um, sales lady that we've been dealing with on the new camper and trade-in and everything, and I told her, I was like, look, we have a problem. I explained it to her. She was like, if you can just get the slide in and get it here, we'll figure something out. So that is what we did. We literally have it looking so janky, but we got the slide in. That is the only thing that is wrong, is the slide is not working. Um, so we got it in manually, like pushed it in, um, and we have it ratchet strapped. So I will show you the way it looks with the ratchet strap, but yeah. But we got the whole slide put back together. You can't even tell that, I mean, there's nothing different about the floor like Justin did a great job getting it all put back together um so there's the futon the slot is already in so this was our bunk room like I said the only problem is that it on the outside it has a ratchet strap around it but this is just a last little peek at our camper that we have now served us well With the bathtub the door to outside here. This has actually been a great camper and believe it or not, we lived in this camper for almost five months when I was pregnant with Gentry uh, before we bought our house that we're in now. And we did have a recliner over here, but we put that in ourselves. So we ended up keeping the recliner. Um, I'm gonna use it in our living room, but we um, actually, when we bought the camper, we took the dinette. We had a dinette here and like a jackknife sofa here. And we took the jackknife out and we put in a full size um, reclining couch and then we had the couch and um, the recliner and then like a table and a lamp. But we kept all that stuff because we brought that in ourselves. But we left the couch and here's our kitchen. That was a backsplash that I did a while back. Yeah, it's kind of sad to see it go. We've definitely enjoyed this camper. And then we ended up putting a new mattress in because we had used our Tempur-Pedic mattress from one of our other beds. So um, we ended up putting a new mattress in for the new people. And then I had ended up doing this on the wall. This is just like a wallpaper, a pill and stick wallpaper that I did just to dress it up when we first got the camper. This is our outdoor kitchen. I'm not gonna open it up because we have the ratchet strap on it. But the ratchet strap pretty much goes all the way around it and it is just holding this back slide in. As you can see, we're just holding the slide in. <laughs> we're, 
We have all of our junk piled up on our deck, but um, we're just gonna leave it there because we're gonna be putting most of it back into a new camper. But yeah, this is our, this is a 2013 Forest River Tracer. Um, we've had it for, how long have we had our camper? Like three, four years? It served us well, but we are not sad to see it go really. All right, well, we have it all hooked up and we are headed out. Any comments? Thank God. Let's go. <laughs> we are following it home. Thank goodness everything went pretty smooth and we got ours traded in and we are headed home with the new one. I'm not a hairdresser anymore. <laughs> You're still my hairdresser. <laughs> Yeah, I do owe Justin and Jake a haircut. Both of them were looking a little shaggy. Let the same old thoughts be my referee. I will be alright. Never cut it right. We are officially in our camper at home. And we are going to spend our first night in it. So we're going to kind of like camp out at home. But I thought that I would kind of do a walk through and share with you guys what our new camper looks like and you can kind of get a look at it. <laughs> So I am going to end this video out with a few clips of our new camper. Thank you guys so much for sticking around till the end. I told you that it was a wild ride. Um, I'm so glad that we got the old camper gone and I am absolutely loving the new camper. So I am going to try to do a, um, like a whole like camper tour, uh, pretty soon. And I will kind of share with you guys like some tips and tricks that I have for campers and Kind of maybe show you what I have in my cabinets and where we store things and things like that. So definitely let me know if you are interested in a video like that. But like I said, thank you so much for sticking around and we will see you guys next time. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, I hope that you'll consider doing so. Um, it definitely helps us out and we want to watch our channel really grow. So thank you all so much and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Get so fly, you got me like